Bride of Higara. This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. Looks like you could use a hand. Attention all Sobani, pick your targets and engage. Hello everyone, this is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard the Starship Enorma Prize for another episode of Homeworld, um, use, uh, Homeworld 2 using the PDS mod. <laughs> So today we are checking we are checking out one of the scenarios that are available for this game or for this mod and we're also playing version 6 I kind of forgot to mention that PDS version 6 and so we're going to check out one of the scenarios so it looks like in order to set this up what we're doing is we, we are rallying all forces um, unloading a convoy and securing an asteroid belt for the Higarans so in order for this to work we have to be higarans the enemy has to be vaguer and the enemy has to be on export and position two team two okay i've never played one of these scenarios before so this is this is going to be an interesting experience so let's we are doing the scenario sledgehammer so let's go ahead and start it out Alrighty. So we're in the game. We have We have a battle cruiser over here. Alrighty. Got a couple frigates over here. We got all these guys over here. Okay. And we got. Oh, we don't have these over here. Roger. Or do we? We do. Okay. So it looks like we have a shipyard, a couple uh, defense platforms, some more of these guys. Let's go ahead and move these guys down to our shipyard. I think our goal is to make our way down here and secure these asteroid fields um, from the Vega. No, just move here. So, let's get everyone together. Well, these guys actually aren't even on the map. Okay. New heading set. Define supporting all systems condition green. Destination locked in. Bring engines online. Okay. Destination locked in. There we go. <laughs> Um, so we have a uh, defense field, which I'm going to go ahead and have these guys guard our destroyers. You guys guard him. We have another carrier here. Move in here. We'll get everyone together. Do we have our platforms here, which I could just use these guys as scouts. Actually, I can't actually move them. Never mind. They're just going to sit there. Copy. And then once your es escorts come, Escorting friendlies. Confirmed. we have a fleet support station. Which I believe is just what they rename shipyards in this mod. Oh wait. Nope, yeah, you are the shipyard. Okay. Now we don't have any money, so there's no way to actually generate resources. Confirmed. But Confirmed. there is a way around that, and it's called retiring something. Confirmed. We have a, a couple battle frigates. We have this guy, who's a combat engineer frigate. Confirmed. Let's go ahead and retire this guy. We have our orders. Take her home. We use that to build a couple of harvesters. On our way. Move these guys in. We're ready for orders, and once everyone gets in range, we'll start. We'll make our way over here. Gather the whole fleet together and just make our way through it. Standing by. 
I'm assuming the enemy has harvesters and that over time the enemies are going to get stronger and stronger. Destination locked in. Okay, so let's build ourselves a harvester so we can gather resources in a bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Set. You guys make your way there resource collector complete Roger, Ooh, we could build some from the defiance are you a a special battle cruiser oh god yep oh, here they come Roger. we've got enemy contact Engage capital ship. Resource collector under attack. You guys move in. Lock all weapons on target. Command acknowledged fleet. DD on route. Goodbye, supporting. All right, Harvester, get over here. Supporting friendly unit. I probably should have kept my shipyard over here. But again, I've never done this scenario before, so I didn't know what to expect. Ready. Reporting. Okay, shipyard, focus on the destroyer if you can. Resource collector, taking enemy fire. Enemy contact. Resource collector, you stay over here by the platforms. Pattern complete. Holding pattern locked. Acknowledged. Cabin pressure dropping. Confirmed. Acknowledged. Supporting friendly units. Copy. Okay, so we have reinforcements on their way. But we can't lose the shipyard because then we can't rebuild any well we can and we can build from this guy can i build harvesters from this no i can't okay um oh we do also have a carrier which i kind of totally forgot about so if we lose the shipyard it's not the end of the world but they are capturing my shipyard okay hmm Good to know. Bearing to target. Ship under attack. Let's see if we can kill these infiltrator frigates before they, you know, kill me. Frigate under attack. Reporting. Guys, get over here and kill the infiltrator frigates. Oh, looks like we have a battle going. Oh, these asteroids can attack you. Hold and engage. Okay. That's good to know. Let's do this. Frigate lost. Okay. I'm slowly learning this. Copy. All right, good. Cabin pressure dropping. Carrier destroyed. Carrier. De yeah. Okay. So you guys wait here. Don't go into that asteroid field. You guys make your way over here. Okay. No problem. Enemy contact. Let's do this. Roger. Subsystem lost. Actually, kill the destroyer. It's almost dead. Damn, they've got a seaweed lock on it. Break, break. Subsystem lost. There we go. We get destroy that arc hammer, or not arc hammer, arc mender. There we go. Attack coordinates locked in. Missiles inbound on vector 45.32. Turn to evade. Ready. Alright, so you guys will have to go around the asteroid field and meet up with our shipyard. Battle carrier fully operational and ready for orders. Roger fleet. Home and order received. Standing by. Attack coordinates locked in. Thank you. Okay, um, no, that's not actually what we want to attack. We want to kill this guy. It's nice to have all these weapons on our shipyards. <laughs> this would not be possible without the uh, the PDS system. I do notice that the capturing thing resets when you destroy one of the uh, um, one of the infiltrator frigates. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's actually supposed to happen this mod. I'm not too sure. But I like it. Otherwise I definitely would have lost my shipyard by now. Ship under attack. Acknowledged. 
Do I still have my harvester? Yep, my harvester is being protected by the ion, um, by the ion platforms. Ready. Copy. Affirmative. Calculating your intercept course. Ready. All right, you dock. Confirmed. Roger. You dock as well. Acknowledged. I still have my <laughs> frigate alive Standing somehow. Okay. So we have survived so far. I did lose my carrier, but then again, I didn't know these asteroids were armed. I see why, um, what the point of this mission is now. Now, normally when I do scenarios like this, whether it's Galaxy FX, whether it's PDS, whether it's Complex, the first time I play, I'm usually trying to figure out what the, um, the enemy defenses are, what the enemy brings in, so that I can build a a counter fleet to um, fight them off. So, so far I was thinking about restarting this, but we still have our shipyard. Um, we do have a harvester and whatnot, so we can gather some resources, but we need to get all of our units together, and then we need to probably find a way to destroy um, these asteroids. We definitely don't want to get close to these ones. Is I think, yeah, because these these asteroids are armed, so we gotta destroy the subsystems on them. I think there's one there's one armed back here. We might be able to take this one out and then take these two out and then get these resources to build up our fleet. Oh god, they're bringing in a battle cruiser. Reporting. Um. Quickly, Location deploy mines. Um, you get over here. Green line confirmed. Reporting. Moving to destination. At ease. Enemy contact. Let's do this. Hold and engage. But there is probably a possibility that we might be restarting. I don't. Engage. I don't think my fleet's gonna get over here in time. Before we can take down this battle cruiser, at least now that I know what to expect. Roger. What are you guys doing way up there? All right, shipyard, if you want to take care of that battle cruiser. Frigate lost. Ion, um, not ion frigates. These are the uh, Lotharins. Take care of them. The Hydras. Take care of the fighters and corvettes. We still have a while before the main fleet gets here. Where's my my battle cruiser is over here. Frigate under attack. Yeah, there's a pretty good possibility I'm gonna have to restart. But I kinda like these scenarios so far. It's definitely different. Come on, you guys. Um, see if we can disable the engines. If we can disable the battle cruiser's engines, so that he can't use his main weapon, we might have a chance. That's that's going to be our only thing that we can do. Subsystem lost. Subsystem attack confirmed. We're drawing heavy fire. Am I? I'm probably gonna be sacrificing these guys. If we can disable the battle cruiser's engines, we might have a chance. Hull breach. Hull breach. Guidance failure. We're losing control. Subsystem lost. Come on, I, I, I want to see the health. There we go. It's down to half. Okay, all you guys get up here. Shipyard is still alive. 
He cannot use his main weapon anymore. Good job, boys. Um, let's see if we can disable his secondary weapon. We do have our battle carrier <laughs> coming in. Our battle cruiser that can actually build um, ships. He's still hitting me with his Trinity cannon. Oh wait, those are those are side thrusters, so never mind. Okay, cool. His engines are disabled. Good. What about his secondary weapon? His secondary weapon is getting there. Shipyard, keep moving. If we can destroy this battle cruiser, we might be able to recover. Subsystem lost. Frigate lost. Subsystem lost. He's still moving despite the fact his engines are disabled. Frigate lost. Subsystem lost. Alright, our battle cruiser is in range now. So our shipyard just has to survive until our battle cruiser can kill his battle cruiser. But it looks like we got his attention. But yeah, this this battle cruiser does not have the firepower that that battle cruiser has. Well, actually, it has more firepower, but it doesn't have the um, the ion cannons that the other battle cruiser has. Copy. We've got enemy contact. Cool. The destroyers have arrived. Good. Enemy contact. Everyone, kill that battle cruiser. The shipyard must survive. I don't know what the shipyard's doing. He's spinning in circles. I mean, it. Since everything's here, you might as well do try to attack. Why does the shipyard can deploy mines? That's kind of weird. But okay. Did he disable my engines? Oh, he did. That's why the shipyard was spinning in circles. Okay. Subsystem. That's fine. Let's just broadside him. Destroy this thing as much as possible. We are winning the fight now. Subsystem lost. Ship All you guys get over here. New heading set. Whew. It's been a little crazy. But so far, we're still alive. That's good. And the battle cruiser is about to die. Standing by. We good. Him. We still have our harvester built. Ship under attack. We caught him napping. No problem. No problem. This is cool. Battle cruiser is destroyed. So now we need to kill these frigates that are left. Enemy contact. Let's do this. Ready. Cool. We have survived. Hold and engage. We've got I actually was thinking we weren't gonna survive that, so I'm pretty happy right now. No problem. No problem. Everything get over here. Let's all group up. Once we destroy this last frigate, we destroyed the main onslaught. I'm assuming that the enemy does have like a carrier or something and will be rebuilding things. So let's get everything into a group and move over here. So we'll make you group one. Oh, you need a doc. You guys will be my group one. You're my only fighters I have left. Group one reinforced. Harbinger, I believe this is the Arbiter is the fleet carrier. Harbinger is the escort carrier. So we have two fleet carriers. Group two designated. You two will be together. Group three designated. Roger. Group four designated. We have some long range cargo ships, not really. They're, they're good combat ships, but they're not like everything put together. So we literally only have two combat ships. I mean, an escort ship is pretty good, but they're designed to, well, escort. Confirmed. Coming into dock. You guys get replenished. 
You're my only fighters. And we do have debris over here. Let's go ahead and pick up some debris so that we can get more harvesters, probably get about three or four. And then we'll make our way back here to try to destroy the first asteroid, secure this rear area and get some resources and get some like fighters and corvettes and whatnot. Stuff that can support our um, big ships. Cause right now we have two squadrons of fighters, three squadrons of fighters and that's it. <laughs> no, it's actually only two squadrons. That is all we got. So you guys go ahead and dock, get yourselves replenished. Ooh, meantime, we'll have our little harvester going around, bringing in some debris. Standing by. Shipyard, build me a couple harvesters so we can gather some resources. And then we'll make our way in the back so we can um, establish a more permanent resource area. I think my goal is I have to actually destroy all of these defensive asteroids. And again, I don't know. I probably should build a probe to see if the enemy has any harvesters or, or not harvesters, but like carriers or shipyards or whatnot. Anything they can use to replenish the re, their uh, resources. Reporting. That's not a bad idea. Once we get our harvesters built, we'll start doing that. Resource collector complete. Group one. All right, you guys are having trouble. Go dock in with the battle cruiser. Get yourself replenished there. Acknowledged. Harvest. Standing by. Man, these rocks are tough. Oh, this shipyard moves fast. That's why things are having so much issues. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and because I'm used to the shipyard going like 15 meters per second. <laughs> Um, shipyard, you can stop anytime you want. There you go. Alright, probe. Go in there and show me what, what the enemy has. They do have a carrier. Okay. Two carriers. They have a lot of really big capital ships. Three carriers. But it doesn't look like they have a shipyard. Nope, they have a shipyard. Never mind. And they have harvesters. Okay. So we can't waste a whole lot of time um, doing things because they will be replenishing their their uh, their stuff. But let's gather these resources here real quick. Start making our way back here, build up a fleet, and then slowly make our way into the middle. We're gonna have to like inch forward and slowly like bring the AI toward us, not do a full-fledged assault. But um we can build these ships without a Corvette facility. Why can't we... Is oh, we don't have a research module on this ship. That's pretty expensive. Hmm. I want the assault bombers, because I like them. They're a good hybrid. But we do have a lot of anti-capital ship capability. We need more fighters, corvettes, um, protection. So the assault group... Or assault gunship... Do, do, do. I believe these guys are the upgraded version of these with modern weapons. So let's go ahead build, let's say three of those. And then probably have a couple of normal interceptors and maybe a couple of assault bombers, like maybe three of each. Nothing too crazy. let's wait for those to get done and in the meantime um we're just gonna continue harvesting this area here i didn't realize 
how fast the shipyards move in this version. I didn't realize that they move 75 meters per second. I'm so used to them being like 15, but I guess it makes sense because in this version, this is our mothership. We don't have our, you know, the Pride of Agara or Makan's flagship in PDS because this mod takes place after the events of Homeworld 2. So those no longer exist. Oh yeah, these things, these Corvettes are just really big and decked out. That's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. They're not squadrons or Corvettes. It's just one big Corvette with tons and tons of guns. Okay. No. Yeah. I didn't mean to tell you to move. My mouse did the weird thing it normally does because I need to replace it. Okay, so it looks like the Vega are getting ready for another round of attacks. Um. We are just about done harvesting this little debris area. And honestly, uh, I will probably defend this uh, fleet that's coming in and gather their resources to continue expanding our fleet. Also, I totally forgot that these little fighters right here are 2200 RUs, but they are also the best fighters in the game, so it does make sense. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and pause it right there before they actually attack. So the next part of the scenario, I'm going to defend this Vega attack that's coming in, and then we're going to make our way to the um, back of the asteroid field, try to destroy the first two um, fire bases, um, asteroid fire bases, and try to reclaim that area so we can just have an income source uh, coming in so we can continue expanding our fleet. Because right now we got plenty of capital ship defenses, but we need more fighter and corvette defenses. That is currently our biggest weakness. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this. Um, I'm actually enjoying this scenario. It's uh, it's different, which I like different. And it's kind of, it's a lot different than the FX Galaxy scenarios, which are more story driven. This is more like, okay, um, we're throwing you into this battle. Here's your um, situation. Try to figure out a way to, uh, um, to get through it, which again, I enjoy. Um, I, I enjoy like scenarios that are kind of like that. Honestly, I just enjoy any scenario that's homeworld related. <laughs> I'm not really picky at all when it comes to that stuff. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a like if you did. If you like what I do, consider subscribing, and I'll check you guys out in the next video. But until then, this is Captain Sovan signing out. The Baker have arrived. Emergency hyperspace procedures initiated. The mothership must survive.